An audit found that thousands of airport workers in Honolulu were violating TSA rules. It had to do with their security badges, which gives them airport access. The state calls it an administrative issue. But as Jen Bonisa tells us, it's an issue that's going to cost taxpayers more than $100,000. Right, Jen? That's right, Marissa. The badge oversight was revealed in a security threat assessment done earlier this year. So, to comply with the TSA rules, 23,000 workers had to get new badges by tonight. According to documents I obtained, it was a cumbersome process. But DOT officials assure me they have a plan to prevent it from happening again. An audit by the TSA raised red flags earlier this year, prompting big changes to keep Daniel K. Inouye International Airport in compliance with federal regulations and to avoid hefty fines. There were some cases where some of the personal identification, for example, might not have matched up. Things like name changes due to weddings or divorce or changes of address. Their remedy? To rebadge all 23,000 employees. Not an easy task or a cheap one. Total cost I don't have. I mean, it wasn't, it, it was pretty nominal um, in the $100,000 or so range. Employees were required to come here to the airport pass and ID office. I spoke to one worker who declined to be on camera that told me it could take anywhere from 10 minutes to two hours to get a new badge. At times, with the line snaking outside this door, down the hall. Transportation officials tell me details regarding the rebadge were listed on the airport website in March. But a worker I spoke to who didn't want to give his name says he just found out. Well, I got an email from my manager saying that we have to re badge, we have to like re badge our badges from Monday to Wednesday. And I think I got the email on Sunday. An email sent out to employees on Sunday, June 24th, listed today as the deadline. I'm told old badges will be deactivated tonight and airport access will be denied without a new badge. But I wanted to know if the DOT could face any fines or penalties for non-compliance. A document states the airport could be fined $13,000 per violation. With the number of violations found, fines could total $25 million. The DOT tells me they have not been fined. I wanted to know what can be done to avoid this in the future. Every two years at least, we are going to re-audit ourselves um, to do check for this exact thing. I asked the DOT if this posed a security threat. I was told that it does not, that it was more of an administrative issue. Marissa?